In a shocking vote that sent global markets into a free fall, Britons decided to leave the European Union. My colleague Paul Sisko takes a look at what Britain's exit may mean for Africa and the rest of the world. The outcome of Britain's Brexit vote stunned many. The only certainty about the vote is that it is bringing uncertainty and volatility to world financial markets. How long that will last is anyone's guess. British Prime Minister David Cameron says he'll step down by October. The vote didn't go the way he had hoped. The country's made its decision and this government is responsible now for setting out the steps that we need to take and for doing all that's necessary to stabilize the economy. We took a choice to ask the people this very big question, because I believe in our parliamentary democracy, but when it comes to the very big decisions, I think it's right to consult the people. South African economist Ian Cruikshanks sees rough times ahead for Africa. The UK leaving the European Union could mean a contraction in their own economic activity and financial uh, abilities and financial capital flows, and this is going to have an impact on South Africa. The ripple impact could be accumulating negatively, and that can affect South Africa. It can affect the flow of capital and goods to South Africa, and then through South Africa being the gateway to the continent, it can affect the flow of capital and goods to the uh, to, to the continent as a whole, so not good for Africa. Nigerian financial analyst Bismarck Rowain agrees that an economic slowdown is likely. So we're dealing with change in trade patterns, change in government, probably change in philosophy, and also a change in direction of investments. It's kind of neutral because the African countries' economies are pretty well diversified, the trade is diversified, and um, Britain is not a major importer of African commodities as such, but in terms of imports, it makes the imports cheaper. Well, if this is the beginning of the breakup of Europe, rather than the consolidation of Europe, then we could see a problem. A multitude of new agreements will have to be negotiated and renegotiated between Britain, the European Union, and African nations. Huge questions remain on agricultural subsidies, refugee policies, immigration, trade and development and security assistance. Prime Minister David Cameron. I will do everything I can as Prime Minister to steady the ship over the coming weeks and months, but I do not think it would be right for me to try to be the captain that steers our country to its next destination. I think the country requires fresh leadership to take it in this direction. Prime Minister Cameron's quick response to the referendum, allowing for fresh leadership after voters chose to take the country in a new direction, is expected to bring a smooth, peaceful transition of power in Britain. For Africa's most entrenched leaders, that may be the most important lesson to take from the Brexit referendum. Paul Sisko, VOA News.